This video is a demonstration of how to work with Anderson Power Pole connectors. These connectors are usually used for uh, power connections. They can be used for any connection, but we just want to show you how to use them in general, how to crimp them on the wires, how to connect them together. So these here, we're working with the red and the black, these are called Anderson Power Pole housings. They snap together and you can connect them in different configurations. This is called an Anderson Power Pole contact. This is the part that goes on the wire and then into the housing. We're going to show you how that's done. You may use these, for example, on an electric bike controller. These are the power wires on an electric bike controller. This controller would connect to an electric bike battery, to the positive and negative. It would be black to black and red to red. Anderson power poles are not male and female. They work both ways. You simply turn them upside down and make your connection. So now we'll show you how to crimp them. So I have two sets of wires here. I'm going to show you a connection between the two. I've stripped off a little bit of the wire on three of these. These are the tools you're going to use with Anderson power poles. You have a wire stripper. You have here what is a crimping and cutting tool. And then here we just have a very small um, screwdriver and I'll show you what that's for in a minute. So these three tools are going to help you do this. So what you use first is the wire stripper and you just take off maybe quarter of an inch of the sheathing on the wire. Now I've done it to the rest here to save time. Then what you do is you take one of your contacts, we'll start with this here, twist the wire up a little bit and you take the wire and insert it into the end of the contact. Anderson power poles have a little what we call a spoon on the end of the contact. I like to keep that down. You take your crimping tool and underneath you're going to see you're going to see a crease here. You take your crimping tool and you get this part of your crimping tool and put this right in here and right in that crease you want to crimp down on it. Now that's got it grasping that wire there very well. Then you use the crimping tool this way, this part of the tool, and cinch it together. Now you have a really super secure contact on the end of the wire. So at, at this point, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this on all of my wires. So I'm just going to crimp these one after another, show you how fast this is. Okay, just one after another. Go through, crimp down, crimp together. Down. Watch your fingers in this. I almost got myself there. You want to be very careful when you're doing this. There you can see I, I actually didn't get right in the middle, so I need to shore it up a little bit. The idea is to just crimp this contact on the end of the wire and make sure it's secure. You can pull on it to make sure it's tight and not coming off. Twist up the wire to make it go in here easily in the back of the contact. And again, crimp down. crimp down and squeeze together. And that last part, the squeezing together, that's going to ensure that it goes into the back of the housing. So you can see we have our contacts on our wires now, and that was pretty simple. So we use that to do that. We stripped it. We don't even need those anymore. Now we're going to insert the contacts. We're going to put the housings on the wires. Obviously black to black, red to red. We're going to take this with the scoop down, I'm not sure if you can see that very well, but the scoop down and inside here, inside the housing, you'll see a little metal piece there. The idea is, I'll show you, we call this top down, if this were the top and that were the bottom of the Anderson. So scoop down and you're looking at the top of the housing, you're going to put that in there and you push and I don't know if, can you see this? Let's see if we can get a really good shot. When you push that in, it clicks and you probably heard that click and that is the scoop going over the little metal piece inside of the housing. Now that's very secure. We're going to do that with the rest. We have a red wire. Again, scoop down, top facing up on the housing. We're going to press that in and click. We have that. Now these two I've put together. Anderson power poles are great because they, they actually lock together in certain configurations and as long as you do, like here we have black and red, if you're seeing the tops of both, you put them together and they snap in together in place like that and it's pretty secure. So now you have really a plug. So we'll do that. I've already done that here. 
And as long as you do them together, let's say you do two sets with the black on the left and the red on the right, you're going to be able to connect them. So we'll take the black wire here, snap that in, and the red wire here, and snap that in. You always want to hear that click. I didn't even have to use the screwdriver in this, in this instance, but if, you, if it was kind of tight, you could get in there and just push it until you hear the click, and that's how you want to make, make sure they're secure. So if I pull on that, nothing's coming out. You can see that they're both in there. Now, you have two separate pieces. So if you had a battery and a controller, for example, or any connection, now, when you flip one of them over, they're connected. And that is the way to um, put Anderson power poles on wires, crimp contacts, put them in the housings, and connect them to each other in different configurations, and then make a final connection. So that's how you use Anderson power pole connectors.